back to Flash Forward Friday. All right, we're actually piggybacking off my Throwback Thursday segment where we talked about a Matt Groening cartoon, and that was Futurama. Well, this time we're talking about another one, and that is Disenchantment. Disenchantment is currently on Netflix. It's got three seasons, or three parts, 30 episodes, and uh, it started in 2018, and the writing reminds me a lot of Futurama, uh, but unlike Futurama or The Simpsons or any other cartoon from back then, it's not made for syndication. You're getting a constant story and adventure the whole time, uh, but a lot of the jokes and the writing and the banter definitely reminds me of Futurama more than The Simpsons. Uh, you're thrown into a medieval world this time following Princess Bean and uh, she happenstances upon these crazy companions that join up with her like Elfo and Lucy. Uh, Elfo's an elf who uh, has ventured outside the elf world, which they don't really do. Lucy is a demon and uh, causes all kinds of issues. And uh, they just for the most part, have adventures of their own while the overarching story is happening as well. And uh, it seems like there's a lot of history there. They they do very well at uh, foreshadowing and planning and uh, continuations. And uh, they convey emotions pretty well through this. Does it hit me as hard as some of the Futurama episodes? No. I think it's part of because... When shows are written like this, it's kind of a slow burn sometimes. And that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just sometimes you just want to get there or you just want them to finally tell you the thing you've known the whole time. And uh, I'd still recommend it. Uh, not only do I watch it, I know a handful of my, my closer friends watch it and they, they all seem to enjoy it overall. So if you haven't checked it out, you can. Again, it's a Netflix series. It's only 30 episodes in so far. They're 20 minutes to 30 minutes long. And, uh, yeah. So I'll catch you next time. Um, here.